How you guys doing? Uh, Cover Killer Nation here, and I have a question for a lot of you Radiohead fans today. Yeah, I know I'm typically a guy that talks a lot about metal, but as you know, and as those of you who attended my blog TV the other night know, and if you didn't, where were you? Uh, I kind of want to take this channel in a little bit of a different direction a little bit. I still want to talk a lot about metal because that's my uh, genre of expertise. However, I kind of want to branch it out into a little bit more of an all-encompassing music channel. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to talk to you guys uh, that are Radiohead fans. Those of you who know, of course, that Radiohead uh, just a couple of weeks ago released a new record, uh, The King of Limbs, and they did this kind of in the same style in which they did in Rainbows, where uh, it was available online and it's going to be getting a physical release uh, in stores on March the 29th, and it's an album that I, I'm going to cover then as opposed to whenever it first came out, uh, mainly just because I work at a music store and I'm finicky and stupid like that. However, it did make me think of something rather interesting, and that's this. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there who are Radiohead fans obviously did not wait for uh, a store release for this particular record in order to purchase the album and uh, hear what it sounds like and get and uh, get the new material. However, I do want to know, for those of you who did uh, purchase The King of Limbs already via their website or however means that you got it, are you guys going to go out and... Uh, buy the album again whenever it is released in stores. Are you going to get a physical copy of it? Are you going to uh, wait for the special edition that's going to be released a couple of weeks after uh, the standard edition is released on the 29th? Basically, I guess what I'm asking you is, do you plan on essentially purchasing the album a second time? That way you get a physical copy that you can hold in your hand. Uh, as opposed to just having the, the MP3s or the raw music files uh, on your computer that you downloaded from the site after uh, paying what you wanted to pay, uh, so to speak, for this particular album. So, it's something that I find kind of interesting. I, I think that if you're a true fan of a band, you don't necessarily have to do this, but it's something that a lot of, a lot of diehard fans will do, and I, I want to know about you guys. Do you think that that's something that is kind of worth doing, or is it something where just having the music is enough? It's something that I would like to have a, a little bit of a general consensus about what you guys are thinking. Uh, now, for those of you who are unaware, uh, there's supposed to be some sort of special edition, like a newspaper-style edition that's going to be released uh, a couple weeks after the March 29th uh, physical release of The King of Limbs. Uh, I believe it's coming either the latter part of April or the first part of May, and it's supposed to have a lot of nifty extras and stuff on it. But let's just stick with the original thought, the original uh, question. Are you going to purchase The King of Limbs again if you've already purchased it? And if you haven't purchased it already from the from the website or from any other means, uh, do you plan on going out and purchasing it on the 29th? Let me know. Cover Killer Nation out.